my name is Jenna, welcome to my channel. I would say welcome back, but I've only filmed a few YouTube videos so far, so if you've seen any of them, I'd already be impressed. If you can't tell, today we're going to be cooking, and we're going to be cooking one of my favorite recipes, quiche. Quiche, I feel like, is one of those recipes that people go out of their way to buy for $20, $30, instead of making it home, and I think it's incredibly simple. I also have a hack. I have a way to make quiche even easier to make, or so I hope, and it's a great dish to impress your friends for brunch, for dinner, impress a date, whatever you like. Impress yourself, have a nice night, have some quiche, have some white wine. It's a really light dish, bring it to work the next day, bring it to your couch the next day because everybody's working from home, because it's 2020. Anyway, I am here to show you how to make quiche, and especially because it's 2020. I feel like we've had to be, we've all had to be so resourceful this year, um, and especially in the kitchen, especially earlier on when everything started happening. And I hope that I can help some of you guys out to make something you haven't tried before, or make it something how you like it. As I hope you'll come back to see, a lot of my favorite recipes are kitchen sink recipes. It's something you can make with whatever you have in your refrigerator, whatever you have in your cabinets. And those are my favorite because you don't have to do a lot of work if you don't want to, but if you want to, you can. And that's the stupid bit, we can cut that part out. I'm gonna show you how I like my quiche usually, I have some of my favorite ingredients here. It's going to be a vegetarian quiche, but you're welcome to add meat. And I've been talking for a very long time because I'm nervous, so I think we're just going to get started. Two eggs. Usually quiche calls for like six to eight eggs um, and a bunch of heavy cream or milk, and we are just not going to do that today. Two eggs, one cup of sour cream, spices that you like, and I would say about two cups worth of vegetables, meat, packing peanuts, whatever you want to put in your quiche, you go for it. And salt and pepper, of course. Join the party, salt and pepper. If you've seen any YouTube channels that do cooking, they're gonna tell you, Make a salt and pepper mixture. You should listen to that. Oh, and of course, cheese. You're also gonna need cheese. Okay, cool, so that was super disorganized, so I'm definitely going to include the recipe down below. So I'm gonna attempt to do this video thing and get you a little bit closer to see what we're doing here.
All right, so last but not least, my other setup died with the last step, and I'm just putting in the frozen broccoli. If you add any frozen vegetables, make sure that you drain them completely before putting them in your mixture. Just gonna do that, mix everything up, and I don't have a pie crust, and at this point you would put it in a pie crust. So we just greased up a pie crust shaped pan, and we're gonna pour it right in here. And then you're gonna bake it for 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven, at 350 degrees. So our quiche is officially out of the oven. We are going to let it cool before we take a bite. But as you can see, the top gets like a nice golden brown. You should be able to move. <laughs> you should be able to move it without the eggs jiggling. You can always stick a toothpick in there for good measure. And we're just gonna let this cool, and then we're gonna cut into it. Done. Not to do my own horn. <laughs> this is my favorite recipe though, so it's not really saying much. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you find this video at all, honestly. And hopefully you'll see some more recipes and some more of me doing recipes. Really good outro. I'm working on it, okay? Cut me some slack. That was really threatening. I'm sorry. I will never threaten you with a fork ever again. <laughs> Bye. That was the grossest sound I've ever heard. Oh, Jesus. I already tripped over my tripod. <laughs>